Hey guys, welcome to the week here at the Geek Course. And today we're gonna to continue on with the knee shield going into the single leg X, where we're just gonna go up into a sweeping position. So, starting off the same way like we did last time. We have the grip on the sleeve, we have the grip on the collar, right? And I'm using my knee like to push and keep the distance and always trying to get it on the inside of my wrist here, okay? So now, trying to make him sweep, he's gonna come back and I'm getting my knee under his armpit to open up and alleviate his leg, right? Like I said last time, if his knee is on the floor and he's making it difficult for me, I have to use this knee by stretching and pushing him away. This way, his leg becomes light. It's easy for me to bring this leg up, okay? Once this uh, foot is all the way up here, I can start looking to underhook it and get my grip behind his pants here, okay? So this is perhaps the moment where sometimes I lose the grip on his collar, or it could be that I just wanted to go crossing my hands like this and getting a grip, because you can still work the same back take like we did last time from this position. But sometimes when we're here and people are not really pushing their hips back down, they're trying to kind of lean forward. And so if they're trying to go away from you, this is perhaps a better solution uh, to come up with them, right? So what you're gonna try to do now is you're looking for a grip behind their pants, but you're still, you're kind of hooking with a front leg in front of his thigh. You don't wanna lose his knee here. So you wanna be making sure that you're, let's turn a little bit this way. You wanna make sure that you're right on top of his thigh here, okay? And so my other leg is kind of gonna lock a triangle around his thigh here, okay? And I'm trying to do this as I'm coming up, so that when I'm coming up all the way here, I can now let go of his pants, put my hand on the floor and do a technical stand up. So I'm just gonna bring my hips under me here and then I can come and stretch them out. From here, I mean, you have lots of things to do. I would always try to go uh, over to the upper body and then get some hooks in, especially if there's points involved, right? So once we're here, same as before, kicking forward, he comes back, open up, get the foot in, I'm starting to go here, okay? Let's say he broke the grip here, so I don't have it anymore, so I'm gonna go here and look for the grip behind his pants with this arm instead, okay? The reason I want my forearm here is because I can alleviate his leg much easier, whereas if I was grabbing, let's say like this, it's easy for him to bring his foot to the floor or down towards me, okay? So by having this under, much, much easier for me to lift it, so now I could go for the back take like we did last week, but now let's say he's moving forward, so it's hard for me to, to get his hips down or there's no way I'm gonna catch his hips here. So now instead I'm coming up with him. So I'm hooking with this leg in the front, trying to catch like a triangle and using this grip to pull myself up. And as I got a grip on his pants, I can now post on the floor and bring my leg behind me, okay? From here, I mean, you could go for a double collar on each side and climb yourself up carefully until you get a good position, okay? One last time. Here. And there we go. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.